there is an inexorable force in the cosmos where time and space converge. A place beyond man's vision, but not his reach. It is the most mysterious and awesome point in the universe. Now. Gravity's at maximum, Dan. Oh my God, I think it's got us. Man is about to enter. Now, after seeing that, I don't want to know about the black hole because it's too scary. Uh, Howard Trache from SFU is back with us. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me, Steve. Well, this was a, an amazing discovery uh, by scientists. Now, this uh, sort of explain just how this sort of happened because this um, sort of area had been looked at for quite some time. Yeah. So we know of uh, dozens of black hole candidates already. The first one uh, discovered in the 1970s called Cygnus X1. Right. This is different because it's the first time that a black hole was formed after the star died that gave birth to it. Okay. And so that kind of completes the chain. So okay, now we're going to now we're gonna have to explain all that. So uh, we're going to show some video to begin with that you sort of tell us. Tell, tell us a little bit about exactly what is a black hole and how it starts. All right, so a black hole starts when a, a massive star dies. Okay. So very massive stars will die by, uh, by sort of falling in on themselves okay. at, at the end of their lives. You'll see that in the video. And then so they fall in on themselves. It's an implosion. And then they, most of the star rebounds off the core okay. and explodes out into space. But if the core is massive enough, it can continue to collapse on itself, eventually forming a black hole. Now, I was reading online about this a little bit about there's, there's so much energy when it collapses that it just it continues to do that. And, yes. just be, and it keeps building up energy? Is that how it works? Well, it, it's more that, the, that the, the mass or energy that's already there keeps falling in on itself. Okay. And as it does so, the gravity in that area becomes stronger and stronger, as you might guess. And at some point, the gravity becomes so strong that not even light can move fast enough to escape. Wow, and that's, that's what gives rise to the black, black hole. hole. Yeah. And we don't know where it, where it's going, right? We don't know where. No, we what's don't at the bottom exactly. of it or anything like that. No. So it turns out the physics that we really understand, which is Einstein's theory of gravity, general relativity, that that sort of fails uh, almost by design at okay. the center of the black hole. And the physics that would rule at the center of the black hole, we're not quite sure what it is, although there there are some speculations uh, these days. Now, what does this um, discovery mean, especially because it's a it's a what they call a baby black hole? So what does this do for scientists now going forward right so I mean this is uh, it's an important step because it does sort of show the, the whole timeline if you will the star that blew up that eventually gave birth to this big black hole that explosion was witnessed in 1979 by an amateur astronomer okay actually and so then now they found radiation coming from the same area that that's sort of the the signal for the formation of a black hole and per perhaps something else not quite as exciting okay yeah now how how do you study you mentioned that you know they can watch it develop, but how do you study this? Do, can you? I mean, how far away is this? And would there be a? Could you send a camera down there? I mean, what would you do to sort of study this? Right. So I mean, the only way we can study it is by receiving the radiation that it sends to us, okay. and uh, that's how we've discovered other black holes within our own galaxy. This one is actually in a neighboring galaxy, 50 million light years away. So we're not going there anytime we're soon. We're not going there anytime soon. <laughs> no. No. That's incredible. We can see that far away with our telescopes. It's we amazing. Can. Actually, 50 million light years is, is, is just around the corner on, on the scale of the universe as a whole. The most distant galaxies are billions of light years, 10 billion light years away. It's the farthest incredible. we've ever seen. Now, you mentioned that there's a, a Vancouver connection to this whole thing. So tell us about this exciting news. Right. That's a great story. So uh, black holes were kind of a mathematical uh, construction yeah. uh, starting the year after Einstein wrote down his theory. Uh, they became a sort of serious subject of, of astrophysics in the late 1930s when Robert Oppenheimer and his research associate, George Volkoff, worked out that a star collapse could actually make a real black hole. Okay. And George Volkoff was raised in Vancouver. He came back to Vancouver. He was a professor of physics and astronomy at UBC. Wow. That's incredible. It is a great, great story. So now, how, now when you go into class today and you talk about this with your students, I mean, yeah. uh, are you, you're, is it blow your mind? I mean, it, it must be just amazing for someone who loves space as much as you do. It does. And you know, this is a great uh, discovery. And just the whole subject of black holes is very compelling because, you know, there's a, an area around the black hole called the event horizon, the point of no return. Right. And so that captures people's imaginations, including people, you know, who know <laughs> what that really is. You know, it's, it's something very hard to wrap your mind around. Uh, and how long can you study something, a, a black hole? How long will it take to uh, continue to implode on itself? Right. So from the outside, the implosion seems to go on forever, okay. actually. Uh, but if you're riding along with the material falling in, it takes a, a finite amount of time for you to reach oblivion at the center. 
Wow, that's incredible. Well, the good news is that uh, I'm sure you'll address this on one of your story nights that's coming up. When's the next one well, coming up? So we're hoping for one later this month. First, uh, clear Friday or Saturday night so the public can come out. All right, and uh, of course, always go to your website, which is uh, a key area, and you'll be able to tell everyone when they're actually happening. Great, yes. Thank please. you so much for coming in on oh. short notice. Uh, an amazing discovery, and uh, for more information, there's the website for Starry Nights. You can check that out and maybe get a look at, you know, this little baby black hole. For sure. Thanks, Howard. Thanks, Steve. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Stay with us. Sun, won't you come? Won't you